Hey everybody, it's Kevin Lures, registered sports dietitian and certified strength and conditioning specialist. And I want to talk to you about the all or none principle. In the last few videos, we talked about amino acids, essential amino acids versus non-essential amino acids and how that plays into protein quality. High quality proteins having all nine essential amino acids and low quality proteins missing one or more of those essential amino acids. So the all or none principle states that if one of the nine essential amino acids is missing from the diet, then protein synthesis is impossible. It cannot take place. And protein synthesis is making protein essentially. All essential amino acids must be present or no amino acids will be used for protein synthesis. It's an all or none principle. Again, the remaining amino acids would then be used for energy needs or converted to carbs or fat. So this explains the importance of consuming all nine essential amino acids, which can be accomplished by consuming high quality proteins, animal products. Protein synthesis is dependent on certain amino acids called limiting amino acids. A limiting amino acid is an essential amino acid that is in the smallest supply in a particular food. It limits the amount of protein the body can synthesize. Let me give you an example. If the word banana is like a protein we're trying to make and the letters of the alphabet represent all 20 amino acids and we are given one B, two N's and only two A's, the letter A would be the limiting amino acid since it is in the smallest supply compared to what we need which is three A's. So therefore protein synthesis cannot take place or the word banana cannot be made since we don't have the letters that we need. We don't have three A's. Hence, all must be present or nothing can happen. All amino acids must be present or we cannot synthesize the protein that we need. The bottom line here is really try to consume those high quality proteins, those animal proteins such as fish, pork, beef, chicken, turkey. And if you are a vegetarian, try to consume a variety of plant proteins, whether it be uh, beans and legumes, wheat products, you know, just try to consume a lot of different plant proteins so it can become a high quality protein. So if you have any questions, email me, kmlures at yahoo.com. Again, that's K-M-L-U-H-R-S at yahoo.com. Thank you.